After the loss of my hardcore Iron Man status, a new adventure is born. Carrying on from where I left off, without the fear of death looming overhead, there's no holding back. This is Dead Smithy, and welcome to my Iron Man progression series. Okay, right, making this last bronze plate body here. Yeah, you can tell I'm down to the wire on my resources, can't you? But... <laughs> First level of the episode is 70 smithing, which is the last requirement stats-wise that we need for Dragon Slayer 2. And also I think Song of the Elves as well. So uh, two birds, one stone, but 70 smithing, very nice. That means we can now do adamant, uh, well, we can start doing adamant stuff. Uh, which is going to be good because if we get a blowpipe, I can then start making my own darts. And uh, yeah, stay. We'll, we'll sustain ourselves with the, with, with the, uh, with the ammunition for it. But yeah, very nice. Okay, come on, Barrows. This is the first chest of the episode. Please, please, please. Can you just give us a drop? Like an Aram's top, that'd be really nice. I guess not, then. I guess not. Okay, come on, Barrows. Give us the first item of the trip, please, if you will. Or not. Or you could just, you know, tell me to fuck off. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, they say third time's a charm. Barrows, come on. Hook us up, mate. <laughs> all right all right come on barrows give us something i said no arams i was literally just saying on stream can we get an arams piece but not a hood or a staff and what do we get we get a bloody staff that's my like fifth one i don't need any more staffs right come on barrows you know you've teased us with an arum staff arum's top go on you know you want to <laughs> or not just, just give us nothing. Okay, right. Tenth KC of the trip. Don't disappoint me, Barrows. Come on. You've given us a Arim staff. Now it's time to, you know, work our way up. Arim skirt. <laughs> 994 coins. That'll go and then. All right, come on, Barrows. I think this is the last one of the trip. So, hook us up. Okay, now the servers are lagging. Hold on. Hold on. The suspense. The suspense is killing me. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Any minute now, I swear. It'll open. And it's fuck all. <laughs> <coughs> all right, I don't think I've done my kingdom in a while, so let's do collect and see what we've got. Any radars? Four whole radars. Wow. Wow, we are spoiled today, boys. Okay, when I unclick this, it's going to be another level. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's 84 fishing. Wow. 84 fishing, very nice indeed. Currently stocking up um, for, uh, I guess, Slayer and just PVM in general. Uh, but yeah, we've also got ourselves a hard cut, uh, bottle there, which is rather nice. But uh, yeah, 84 fishing. Decent. All right, so we've got a hard cast kit. Um, I'm going to crack it open, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do a hard casket uh, opening video like I've done for the beginner clue one and the uh, easy casket one. Uh, if you haven't seen them, check them out. They're on the channel. Uh, I'll put them in the description as well. But um, yeah, let me know if you'd like me to start stocking these up. Then we do like a mass opening. But for now, let's crack it open. Okay, Armadil. Uh, uh, oh. Armadillo, Armadillo traps! Holy shit, I didn't see them! Look at them hiding away over there! And a Guthic stole as well. Uh, two uniques. How much is that worth? 683k, very nice, very nice. Uh, that's our first um, blessed chaps, which is rather decent. Uh, shame it's not a body, because I, I, I kind of could do with a, a blessed uh, body. But um, chaps are good nonetheless. So I'm going to quickly get the fuck out of here before I get PK'd. Right, rate the fit. What do we think? What do we think? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I do when I do this episode is fill up as many stash units as I can, uh, just to free up some more bank space. I've just gone through the spreadsheet that I went through in the accounts uh, account uh, goals video, and uh, I've updated it with uh, what the stash unit tracker is saying. So now I'm going to go through and uh, work out what ones I can fill, and uh, go and stick all the shit in it. Uh, I've got a bunch of like real trash items, like bronze full helm studded chaps and all that kind of thing that can go straight in which is a uh, which is nice um there's a few bits and pieces where they're like unique items so like some of the head uh, some of the um hard caskets you need headbands and that which i have it's just a case of digging them out and uh you know sticking them in the uh stash unit but uh, yeah decent we've not got very many by the way not got very many we're currently on 
Um, 89.7% easy ones completed, 86 point, uh, well, essentially 87% of mediums and 60% of hards. So we're, we're doing all right. Right, there is one of three left to do on the easy uh, stash units. This really is some wild RNG. I needed a bronze spear. I kill one goblin, I get bronze spear. It's just, just get the drops, you know what I mean? Just get the bloody drops. Right, and there is two of three left completed. And this is the three of three. Last man standing. Last easy stash filled. We've completed the easy stashes. Very nice indeed. Now let's... uh. Let's move on to the mediums. We've only got three of them as well, so that's pretty cool. Right, there's the first medium one filled. Right, I can't say I've ever been to this one, but um, there is the second one that we've got left built. Nice. Okay, and there is the last medium stash built. Very nice indeed. That's now 100% on the beginner, the easy, and the medium. We've only got six of the hards left to do. Uh, just having a look through, I can do that one, uh, I can't do that one, you can't see what I'm even looking at, but <laughs> uh, always remember to get your pint from the Drunken Dwarf, uh, there's one, two, two that I can't do, so we're going to be able to fill four, um, but yeah, we're getting closer and closer to having a clutter-free bank. Well, I say that, it's still fucking shit, and it? You've, you've seen it in the video that I did a few weeks ago. I'm a hoarder, okay? I'm a, I'm a hoarder. Okay, just having a quick look over the um, hard ones again. There's also another one that I can't do, so that's three that I can't do, because I haven't got Sofferheim unlocked. Um, what else we got? Do I have a Mystic Fire? I don't even know if I have a Mystic Fire Star for the Archaeological Expert one, or the Exam Centre. Uh, so I'm going to leave doing the hard ones for now, but we've completed all the ones before that. So, you know, that's that's good enough for me. That's a good day's work. So, um, decent. I'm currently having the mental battle of the century. Uh, so I've got like 262 Snapdragons now. Uh, and I've got 600 uh, red spider eggs in these sacks. So I'm debating, do I start making these into super restores? I probably should, right? Surely I should. I think I need to do a sanity check on... Do, stop caring about bank value. Because <laughs> these are worth like... Uh, there we go. They're worth 2.4 mil... 2.3 mil. And these are worth... Like 300k. But one of these is worth... 11k. So I'm like, oh... I probably should turn that, turn those into that. I'm, I'm, I'm having a quarter-life crisis about my fucking herbs. So... Don't mind me, because that's a lot of <laughs> a lot of fucking herb floor XP, and also it saves my bloody prayer pot drought. So I think I need to nut up and shut up and just do it. I'm curious, did these come out as noted or do they come out as actual eggs? Actual egg. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I've actually got to slice this bad boy quite a lot. Decent. Right, that's it. I've lost it. I've lost me marbles. I'm making them. I'm going for it. I've got me amulet of chemistry on. I'm hoping that kicks in and gives us a four dose. Oh, it did! It gave us a four dose! Make your amulets of chemistry, boys. They're really good. Um, but yeah, we've now got super restores. So once I get the... I need one more... I think it's one more um, construction level and I can start... Well, I can upgrade the pool in my house so I can stick these in there as well, which is quite good. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. One more level in construct. I have been working. On I have been working on construction using all these bloody teak logs that I have. Where are they? Uh, all of these. But it's really fucking slow, and I'm kind of bored with it after about ten minutes. So <clears throat> I'm I'm gaming, boys. I swear. <laughs> all right, herb lore update. We've got seventy three four dose, seventy five three dose, and uh, two dose as well. I'm going to hang fire on using these other 108, and I've still got, like, 50 Snapdragon seeds. I've just planted one. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've, we've kind of found a, a an alternate solution to our uh, prayer pot drought um, until we get some more Renards. I've got five Renards here that I probably should turn into prayer pots. But, um, yeah, I think, as you, as you probably know, if you follow the series or you watch the streams, I'm always out of prayer pots, so... I think we're going to start using some of these super restores. Uh, probably waste them a bit because I'm not using the uh, stat restoring 
side of things. But uh, yeah, maybe I could tag them, tag team them with a sour bruise. But I've only got four, two doses at the moment, so it's probably not really worth it. Okay, right, Haspori, what have you got for us, mate? Come on, give us something decent. I'm probably going to drop some of it on the floor. Oh, there we go. Two Atlas Seeds. More palm trees because Zora wasn't giving us enough. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, oh, typical on tick it, as I go to plant it. Obviously, now I've got to rake the patch. Anyway, I've actually got like seven Hespori seeds now, which is rather nice. So uh, we can get some decent XP coming in from uh, from killing that. Um, I'm now up to... Well, I'm still 76 um, farming, but I'm like 50k off next level, which isn't bad. So, uh, yeah, we do be gaming. It's that time again. That's right. It's hard casket time. Uh, just done an Elves Slayer task. I actually really like Elves as a Slayer task because you get quite a few hard clues normally. This time, we only got the one, but we do have the casket, which means RNG. Are we going to get any? Oh, okay. We've got a Zami page one, a Bandos page three. Both uniques. Very nice indeed. Uh, I'm not sure if that completes the books, but uh, we can go and find out. The moment of truth. Check damage book. Okay, yeah, I've only got one, <laughs> I've only got one, one page, well, two pages now. And the damage book, which is the Bandos one. There we go. That, my friends, is another book completed. The Book of War. Um, preach. Well, uh, let's talk about weddings. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what the book this book does. Uh, so if anyone knows, uh, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, sick. I, I'm guessing it's the prayer bonus um, and plus two melee strength. Oh, that's not bad. But uh, I mean, the defender does that anyway. So anyway, gaming. Okay, gamers, we're going to mix up a little bit, right? I'm going to do some tithe farm. I know what's going on with me. I'm doing a lot of farming this episode. We're really close to 76 farming and also 72 uh, herb law because I've been doing efficient stuff. I know it makes a change. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do some Thai farm. I really want to get the auto weed. Um, I'm debating going for a herb sack, but 250 points here I think is quite a bit of a slog. So uh, we're going to go for the auto weeder, uh, see how that goes, uh, see how long that takes. But um, apparently it's revolutionary in the uh in the farming business so we're gonna see how that is and uh i'm not gonna bother with the outfit because it i think it's a fucking waste of time um but the herb sack maybe the seed box the seed box i don't know if it's really useful for me on this account because uh i'm not really limited on inventory space when it comes to seeds it's more herbs herbs is pretty sick so uh we might we might you know slog that out Watering can, I think, isn't that like an infinite watering can? I don't really water plants anymore, or like crops. I don't really see the point. So, because uh, I'm only growing what they called herbs. But, uh, okay, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and get get cracking. See you when we get auto weeder. I'll tell you what is nice is that we can actually do the uh, the highest tier uh, fruit as well. So, uh, I'm going to have a look at what XP rates we get. I don't think the XP rates are that good. But, um, yeah, we'll see. All right, so I've just hit uh, six points by uh, depositing 80 of these fruits. Uh, I think I'm going to go and get a few more watering cans just to make the runs a little bit more efficient because I'm having to stop halfway through and it's kind of like ruining the rhythm. So I'm going to go and get maybe another, I don't know, nine watering cans and be a, a water boy and, uh, yeah, get, get ourselves... Uh, Get ourselves the auto weeder. Right, here we go. We've come stacked up with watering cans. It is indeed time to farm. Right, I nearly missed it. There is 77 farming coming in uh, at Tithe Barn. Does that give us anything? No. Um, but yeah, with this setup, I can run like two laps. So two lots of, uh, well, four lots of four, 16. Um, quick maths. And uh, <laughs> I've just turned in 80 and I've got another six points. So... Uh, yeah, we, we, we're going to have to do a few more runs before we, we get in. Is it 20 points? I think it's 20 points. Something like that. Anyway, um, gaming. All right, so I've just turned in the remaining fruity boys, and we've got 28 points, which I think is enough. Or is it 50? Hold on, let's have a look. 
It's fuck. It's fifty. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going back in for uh, a couple more runs. I'll tell you what, the XP rates here are actually very good. Like, I'm getting about 90k an hour, um, like, once I check everything in and get the XP drops, which is mad for farming. Like, absolutely mad. I, I, does this mean I haven't got a dick about waiting for trees to grow anymore and I can just do this all the time? I mean, it's not the most entertaining stuff to, you know, do. Gee, like 90k, especially once you start getting it down and you're not a noob like me and only doing like the first two rows. I've seen some people doing the whole bloody farm of these in like a what in like a, a run. They must be getting absolute st well, uh, but then again, you can only get 100 seeds. But still, they must be doing it all at once and like just knocking them all out. That's mental. Get your asses over to Tide Farm, seriously. And with that being said, just checked in the uh, the last batch of fruity tooty boys, and there's 50 points, which means we can go and speak to old farmer. I'm, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. Uh, we can buy auto weed. There we go. Gaming. Very nice. Uh, am I going to stay here and get like the herb sack? Probably not in this sitting. Uh, probably going to go and do something else. But uh, no, that was. A pleasant surprise. I've done it before where I was getting grape seeds, and I was kind of wasting points on that. But now I've got like the uh, the final final fruit unlocked or berry or whatever you want to call it. Um, the XP rate's even better. So uh, yeah, I will definitely be returning to Thai Farm very soon. Okay, come on, Mister Beekeeper, give me a part of the set, please. You fucker! Stop giving me flax. <laughs> I've got enough flax! Right, I think this is easily my highest tiers of Guthics ever. Um, I could be wrong on that, it could be like 150, but if I take a sippy sip, there is 62 runecrafting. Very nice. Does that give us anything? No. But we're now 1869. Decent. Alright, so one thing you can do when you've got a rune pouch is you can speak to the magician, or the magic combat tutor here, and... Oh, where are we? Uh, can I toggle that? Yeah, yeah. Automatically sends a rune pouch. Uh, there we go. So it's similar to what I've done with the range one before, where it automatically goes into your quiver. If you've got, say, adamant arrows and you pick up adamant arrows, instead of going in your inventory, they go straight in there. With the rune pouch, same principle. You pick up, in my case, a law rune, go straight in my pouch. Just means that, you know, I ain't got to mess about with uh, inventory management as much when I'm doing things like Slayer. But uh, I just thought I'd include this clip in here in case you, uh, someone watching doesn't uh, know that this is a feature. Because uh, it is a really useful one. Okay, come on, can we get the baguette? Come on. <laughs> Please. Baguette. Me? Hold on, when could you get a medium clue from, from that? I mean, I'll take it. A shame it's not the baguette. But hey, a medium clue is a medium clue. Very nice. So you might be wondering why there's not so much PVM this episode, and that's because the servers are still really bad, which means I don't really want to risk, uh, say, going to Zola and that and getting slapped up because I get server lag. Um, it's, it's not good financially, uh, and at the moment we're pretty low on gold still, so um, I don't really want to be spaffing money away on server lag. Uh, I did uh, tune into the uh, latest... Um, uh, mod uh, podcast is it a podcast or the live stream you know what I mean um, and uh, I've seen a tweet as well uh, from from our, uh, from like the RuneScape team saying that they're aware of the issue and they're currently troubleshooting it so hopefully it gets fixed soon but uh, for now we're uh, we're getting all these levels up boys look we've got all of these levels that we need to get up so let's get it up right let's crack open this medium clue anything ooh Hello, Adamant Shield H3 and a red boater. I think we've already got that. I guess we'll find out now. I mean, three uniques. That's not bad going. How much is that worth? Uh, do, 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 do. 30k. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Anyway, back to agility. All right, this drop down here is going to be... Drum roll. 73 agility going in. Very nice. Um... Unlocks a few, uh, what they call shortcuts. Uh, working towards getting the agility requirement for, if I can remember where it is. Um, shit, where is it? 
It's not Zaya, is it? It's the, you know, the Zolra shortcut. There you go. That one there. 76, but we're not going to get 76 this episode. Just thought I'd do some agility because I fancied it. Um, we're up to 146 marks of grace now. Um, I'm thinking about getting a second set uh, and then doing the recolors on it um, from from the houses. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking either the yellow one or the white one, you know, the white and black one. But I do kind of want the, the full black one. I think that's really nice. Um, so we've got a lot of options when it comes to a fashion scape. But uh, I think it's 200 and something uh, marks that you need for that. So we've got a long way to go in that sense. But 73 agility, very nice. Okay, one more pickpocket. Get him, get him. There we go. There is 65 thieving. Uh, our thieving le level was looking a little bit sad, so I thought I'd bump it up a little bit. But we can now do spy stools, magic stools, scimitar stools, uh, pickpocket watchman. Uh, Menophyte Thugs, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get 65, and also uh, Sorcerer's Garden, the uh, summer part of it. Uh, I'm, I'm debating about doing a RuneScape for Dummies video uh, series on the uh, Sorcerer's Garden, because I did a lot of it on um, on leagues on the uh, when I took part in the Method Tournament, uh, because we had to get um, the desert. Uh, so I'm thinking about maybe doing a four-part series on um, the some sorcerer's garden one video on each level of it uh, let me know what you think about that i know it's pretty dead content but um it's not a bad little training method so uh, let me know in the comments i've inadvertently started a fucking rhyming game i said wag and then <laughs> now everyone's saying different words oh this is brilliant oh you don't get this at like winter Todd. it's normally someone calling you a fucking cunt or something <laughs> okay so i stayed here for another level because this is super chill uh, 66 thieving, we can now steal uh, from coffins within the hallowed spell, the hallowed thing, uh, <laughs> uh, which is something I still really want to try, uh, because that's how I, th that's how you get the black graceful, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, we can do a new thing there now, which is rather nice. Um, I'm probably not going to spend much more time here, I think I'm going to go and do, is it Ith Iskarins, Ikarins, uh, blah, blah, blah. Ichthlarin's little helper. I'm going to go and do that quest. Uh, I need to do it for Dragon Slayer 2. And also it unlocks Soffenheim, which is where Pyramid Plunder is. And I want to start giving that a go. So uh, that's next on the to-do list. Oh man, this quest is really fucking with my eyes. This spinny thing is horrible. Oh. Oh look, and I, did I fail it? Oh no. Anyway. Who, who designed this shit? <laughs> this is... Freaking me out. Okay, and there is Ixlarian, Lithium, um, Little Helper. I don't know how to... <laughs> anyway, we get two quest points to that. 4.5k Thieving, 4k Agility, 4k Woodcutting, and also an Amulet of Cat Speak. Don't know what that's for, but we're now up to 218 quest points. Probably need this for another quest. But we, uh, we've long locked Soffenheim, and uh, we've also now... Um, unlocked Pyramid Plunder, which is good. So uh, we're going to give that a little go. Also, this is a requirement for Dragon Slayer 2. So uh, that's another one we can check off the list. Okay, right. And I think that is going to do it for today's episode, or this week's episode, I should say. Uh, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I know the video is already quite long. So to quickly go through our stats, we are up uh, one level in Runecraft, up to 62. Uh, one level in Agility up to 73, uh, two in Thieving up to 66. That's something I'd like to push up a bit more next episode as well. Um, what else we got? One level in 70, uh, well, one level in Smithing, not one level in 70, one level in Smith up to level 70, which is DS2 requirement ready. Um, we've also got one in Fishing up to 84. Um, we might get a Cooking level next episode as well. Uh, and we've got a level in farming as well, up to 77. We're up to a total level of 1872. I'm just looking, is there anything else that I've missed? Because last episode we were 1865, uh, to give you some context. But we're now up to 84.7 million total XP. Um, I tell you what, I've been running quite a lot of my farm runs, uh, farming contracts. Uh, I might, I'm going to spend some more time, I think, at Thai Farm. Um... I'm 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 looking at doing a lot of the PvP uh, PvP um, skilling grinds while I can't do a lot of the PVM stuff that I want to do where the servers are still a little bit jittery. Um, last thing I want to do is get smoked out at like Zolra and spunk all me money on that. Um, but we've also got another requirement for DS2 done. DS yeah DS2 
that didn't sound right when I said it then, which is if <laughs> little helper. Um, next episode, I think we're going to get a tale of two cats done and uh, a dream mentor. I need to get done as well. So we're going to get a lot of the uh, requirements that we need to do for DS2 out of the way. So we're good to go uh, uh, for for doing DS2 and getting that done as well. So we can start doing Vorkath, which would be really fun. Uh, also, updates, uh, I've, I've, my literally day of recording this, which is Saturday the uh, 1st of May, uh, my new PC just arrived, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to churn out videos even quicker um, with, with that new bad boy. Um, but yeah, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, also go and follow over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash smithytv. Stream a lot of the progress over there, um, especially a lot of the bossing content that you don't see in these videos. I'm going to start making some highlight videos of of the bossing content, so you can kind of see the uh, the some of the work that goes in behind the scenes on when I do bossing um, as well. Uh, just because it's a bit of a laugh as well, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you all very much for watching. If you are new around here, subscribe for more. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And uh, leave a comment down below with uh, what your current account goals are. And also what you think I should be doing on the account if there's anything I've missed out. And uh, yeah, also Willscape. Willscape is back, so go and check that out. An episode went up on Wednesday. Uh, the Wednesday before this video went up. So go and check that out. Uh, it's kind of the side series in between these episodes so go and check it out right that's your homework go and check it out but anyway stop rambling smithy you dickhead stay safe and i'll see you all very soon bye <laughs>